Hello. I am Dr. Cosmo. Let's continue the lecture. Two years into his research, MJ discovered that there lies a law of fractals in history. There seems to be very similar occurrences in history all over the world. What exactly did MJ discover? What he discovered was that the countries listed on the left column of the figure were exactly the same as those listed on the right column given a certain time period. The time period of the left column was during the end of 11th to the beginning of 14th century. In the right column, were all in the 19th and 20th centuries. At the time, MJ was so excited and he tried to share exactly how much the two were similar with people around him and would begin lengthy explanations of history. However, because no one was interested in lengthy explanations, people would not pay attention and some would even doze off. For this reason, I will refrain from elaborating about history to everyone here. At first glance, because the right and left column of countries have very little relation to one another, no one has ever before compared the two before, and even historians did not recognize what MJ had discovered. Yet, through his research, MJ discovered that there exists a particular type of pattern to human history. And because people's minds and feelings are what shape history, this implies that there is a particular pattern to people's minds. Because there exists a pattern, they are repeatedly used time and time again. To give you an example, it's like taking the world-renowned screenplays of Shakespeare where the appearing characters and story plot are already developed, and all you do is change the venue of the story and interchange the actors who will play the roles of the characters. However, a meticulous and detail-oriented producer changes the story to 800 years in the future. Therefore, the viewers feel as if it's a completely new production, but the reality is that it's still a Shakespearean play. How exactly are these patterns in history determined? Is something deciding how it is formed? It's a mystery and full of unanswered questions. MJ continued to ponder. You may be thinking, though you say history is similar, one thinks this way because one believes it. All throughout history, any country has once engaged in invasion or has been invaded. They all do similar things. In a way, yes, history is almost identical from different angles. You will begin to see that Hitler and the king of the Holy Roman Empire in the Middle Ages, Frederick Barbarossa, are similar historic figures or fractals. Also, Franklin Roosevelt and Manuel's first, Emperor of the Byzantine Empire, are fractals as well. But, to explain to what extent they are similar would require a long talk about history, which is not what would keep everyone's attention. Hmm. There has to be a different way to prove this point. It wasn't so much that MJ was really trying to prove this point, but one day, he came across another amazing discovery. His discovery was the shapes of the land. At the time, MJ was working for a particular company, and he made this discovery while he was making a copy of a map. The shape of Italy's Venetian plain and Japan's Tokyo province had very similar outlines or boundary shapes. MJ had studied the similarity of mid-19th to mid-20th century Tokyo with 12th to 13th century Venetian plain and knew that the history was similar. However, the proof was in the map. It was the shapes of the land. Upon returning home that day, MJ turned over the cardboard boxes and bookshelves to dig through all references to find maps of Europe in the Middle Ages to verify his discovery. He was amazed at his finding. What MJ had discovered was that the countries that had similar history patterns all had matching shapes as well. What exactly does this mean? This is where MJ's mystery solving begins. The countries with similar historical patterns also have similar boundary outlines. If you had come across this discovery, what kind of conclusions would you draw? How would you theorize this? 